Hello everyone and welcome to this Python for Automation Testing series and this is our 21st tutorial and in this particular tutorial we will learn about the if else statement in detail so let's begin. In Python the if else statement is used as a control structure okay so when we talk about the control structure which means that they will help in decision making okay so basically when you use the if else statement it will use as a control structure which will do a decision making within your program now what this means it means that it will allow the execution of certain block of code based on the conditions okay so if the condition is true one block of code will execute it or if the condition will not met it will execute the other block of the code Okay, so when we talk about the control structures, because these are the mechanisms that allow the flow of execution in a program to change. Okay, and when we talk about the basic structure of if else statement or the syntax, the syntax is very simple here. So we say if here we will have a condition, if condition will meet, here we have a certain code. Okay. And then if condition doesn't meet, it will go to else and here the else block of code will execute. Okay, so if the condition is true, this block of code will work, else this block of code will work. Now let's take a real time example here in order to understand the if else. For example, if I ask you, just go to the market and buy apples. Okay. And in this statement, I'm just asking you to buy the apples. You will go to the market and buy the apples. But what uh, But if there is no apples available in the market? So I will rephrase my statement. Just go to the market and buy apples. If apples are available. Okay. And if apples are not available, then buy the oranges. So here I'm using the conditional basis statement for you. Just go to the market. If apples are available, buy the apples. If not, then buy the oranges. So when you go to the market, you have to decide based on the condition. Okay. Now let's take some examples. Let me open the patch arm over here and let me create one new Python file here. I will say this as if else. And now uh, let's take a number and number is 10 Now we need to find that if this number is positive or negative Okay, so positive means the number is greater than 0 and negative means the number is less than 0 so and Here we have defined a number which is static here. We are not taking a user input. So simply what we'll say if number is greater than zero okay then you will say print and this is positive number okay and now if this is not true because in this case this is true because 10 is greater than zero so this statement should print here okay now if this is not the case go to the else body and print the number is negative okay the number is this is negative okay now if i run this one you see that the positive this is a positive number has been printed because 10 is greater than zero if i do a minus 10 here now the number is less than 10 so this block of code will execute it here in the case of true, this block got executed. Now, in case of false, this block of code will be executed over here. If I run this one, you see that this is a negative number, right? So this is a very basic example over here. Now, what happens here if the user provides zero over here? If I provide zero over here and run this one, and this is saying that this is a negative number. Now logically zero is neither a negative nor is a positive zero is zero okay now we need to handle this thing in this particular line of code here and how we can do is that we have one more statement which is else if so 
the structure would be now instead of this one now structure would be if then else if and then else so if a statement then else if then else okay now if i go back here and let me remove these lines of code and let's rewrite again so if number is greater than zero okay print and we need to print is positive okay now we need to use else if now in this block of code as if we have another condition if number is equals to zero because this condition was not catted previously now we need to get at this condition as well okay so if this is if user provides zero or if the number is zero then in this case it should print that this is zero and if even this is not the case then in else it should print that it's a negative over here and i will say negative okay now if i run this one you will see that this is zero will be printed now if i provide 10 it will print positive if i provide negative 10 it will say negative so you can check the different condition using the if else and based on the condition it will execute that particular block of the code now what we can do is that we can use a nested if conditions nested means inside the if we will be writing another if condition now what you need to do is that you need to check that the number is positive as well as the number is greater than 50 okay so let me remove these lines of code from here and let's take a number which is greater than 50 let's take 100 and I will say if number is greater than zero okay now see print this is positive all right and if now inside this this if statement i need to write another if statement now in this if statement i will say if number is greater than 50 sorry we don't need to do this if number is greater than 50 now what we need to do is that we need to print that number is greater than 50 so this is the if statement inside a if statement okay and now finally we have a else statement over here and here we will see number is not positive let me copy this one and paste it here and i will say number is not positive okay now if i run this one and see what happens so the number positive is printed and number is greater than 50 because when your code go inside this one it got through this it went under this code and print the positive now we are inside the if we have another if so it will go to this line of code and check if the number is greater than 50 it will say the number is greater than 50 and if we go here and say 45 now let's see what happens over here so only the positive got printed because the reason is that only this if else got executed because here it got false that's why this particular line of code got not got executed okay so that's how the nested if else work okay so now let's take some real time example which might be helpful more in understanding this one so i will say real if else now let's take an example you use multiple different guys of the application where you need to log in and now how that login works basically when the user name and the password both matches then it should you know allow you to log in 
else it should not allow you to log in okay let's take example username equals to admin and password is equals to admin okay now let me change this to admin123 okay now i will put a condition if username is equals to again admin then and password because both needs to be correct okay both needs to be valid and password equals to admin123 if this is the case here then print login successfully and in the case of else over here it's simply it should print let me copy this one from here and paste it here i will say login fails okay now if i run this one you will see that login successfully is printed over here and if i change this to for example admin one now if i run this one this will say login failed because the code is checking that if the admin if the username is password if the username is admin and the password is admin123 then in this particular case it should login into the system else it should say login failed so let me uh, summarize this this one the if else statement is, is basically one of the fundamental in decision making in the programming languages it helps to control the flow execution flow of the program based on the conditions and for this we use if to check the conditions add else if for the multiple conditions use else to handle the everything else if no conditions are true so that's how you can work with the if else in the python thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial